YouTube, it is Chris here, and in today's episode, we're going to be doing a full test and review of the brand new Signaling Boss Kit by Stanford Outdoor Supply, so stick with me. Welcome back everybody and thank you for sticking with me. Like I said, today we're going to be doing a full test and review of the brand new Signaling Boss Kit by Stanford Outdoor Supply. Now, those of you who follow my channel regularly or are fans of Stanford Outdoor Supply's Boss Kits, you'll know that this is a brand new prototype that just went on for pre-sale. Now this one right now is still only a prototype. I don't even have the full instructions for this kit due to the fact that there's probably going to be a few items added into this kit but we'll get into that here in a second. Now I figured the simplest way to get through this kit is basically just say what the items are, where they're coming from, and then we're gonna be rolling in some test footage so you guys can see all of this stuff in action and show you the quality items you're getting for an extremely low price. The first item in the kit is actually gonna be the Star Flash Signal Mirror. Now these things are freaking awesome because you can basically use the star on the back when you're actually holding this up to signal for help. And once you aim, through that star, which is kind of a peephole, you look for what I call basically a fireball, which is the the refraction back of what you're seeing through. And if you take that fireball and point it at your target, you will be able to very easily find your target. And from 200 yards, a mile out, even even farther, you'll be able to use this very effectively in the daytime as long as you have sunlight to flag down a signal for help. The next item is this emergency whistle. Now there are smaller and bigger whistles out there, however this is one that is designed to float. It's got a nice pocket clip so you can go ahead and attach it to your pocket, your pack. Uh, you can slip it in to be more secure. There's also a port for a lanyard hole so you can put this around your neck. So if you're signaling for help you can just blow into this and it's actually really, really, really freaking loud. So I got my family out there about 150 yards away and they're going to be testing the effectiveness of the emergency whistle you get from the boss signaling kit. Next are these safety light sticks. These are six inches, 12 hour non-toxic chem lights. You get two of them in this pack. And if you use them when you see if anyone's doing any night missions to come rescue you or you're in a situation where you, maybe you even need illumination at night because you're pretty confident, you know how to use the rest of this effectively, you'll be good to go. But I do love the fact they included two of these in there. So hopefully on two separate occasions you can hit that glow stick and if anybody's flying overhead looking for you a search and rescue party you can hang that on the perimeter of your campsite or wherever you're kind of hanging out waiting for rescue and hopefully they'll see that off in the distance because the glow lights do glow pretty well they glow up to about a half a mile away and are visible for the naked eye the next two items in this kit are these two little smoke cartridges now these are freaking awesome for visual signaling let's say you um you're trying to flag down help and you have a wide open space that's not too windy you basically can hold these upside down you can hold them with a multi-tool or you can set them uh, sideways in a container if you have a plastic or metal container of any kind if you have a match a lighter or anything like that you can actually take these and they will start smoking and it will send up a big plume of smoke to let people know that you're in an area but it's not like regular fire smoke it is going to be colored so it'll be very obvious that it's someone in distress or trying to get someone's attention. The next item up is pretty awesome. This is really highly orange reflective ribbon, but you get 15 feet of this. The reason why I like this is you could cut this into six inch strips, basically effectively giving yourself 30 markers. But what we're gonna be, I've been talking to Alan from Sanford Outdoor Supply, um, and we've talked about adding a 30 pack of reflective tacks to this kit. So one, you have additional trail markers if you need to, but if you cut that into six inch strips, you're effectively giving yourself 30 markers and tacks to post up on trees. So you can either mark the perimeter of the area you're in, so it gives the search and rescue team, if they graze by it, they see something reflective, hopefully it'll grab their attention. Or if you use some of the stuff we're gonna get to later and let people know that you have to venture out because maybe you run into a dangerous animal or it was inclement weather, you had to move sites for like, you know, it's an obvious campsite that you had a fire there. You can start leaving trail markers either to remind yourself of where you're going or let the search and rescue party know where you went, at least up to a certain distance so they have a general bearing on where to look for you. All right, the next item has literally been the bane of my existence for the, for the past day and a half. If you've noticed, there, I actually have a 
fluorescent green yellowish tips of my fingers f from this item. And this is a dye marker. These things are freaking potent as all get out. These are designed to color water. What I mean by that, let's say you are stranded out in the water and maybe people know you're missing and they have a general idea and they're doing grid search patterns. Now, as soon as you hear or see a helicopter underway, there's no guarantee they're gonna see you on the water. Now, if you have a very bright colored boat, you might have a good chance, but what this does is if you have, especially if you're in open waters, if you have some multiples of these, you basically pour these in the water once you see and hear the helicopter. And what this does, what it allows you to do is basically dye the water in the immediate area around you a very bright fluorescent green. Now, multiple, now the more of these you have, the bigger area you disperse the open water. And it doesn't take much to turn up to like 20, 30 gallons into a cesspool of fluorescent green color is like your boat's in the middle and it creates this big huge ring around your boat and it spreads out so when they're looking in the water they see this bright brighter color than the normal water so hopefully your boat whatever you're floating in wherever you're at will actually stand out more than the area you're in the next item is a nice big stick of chalk now this is awesome for if you're in an urban environment you can use this for buildings even trees and you can use this to leave notes to people coming to look for you or to let people know, hey, this area is not safe. Or you can leave a message on a building rooftop or in a natural disaster. Somewhere where you need a signal for help, you can write something like help or SOS. You can write something to get people's attention with the chalk on some dark pavement, on a side of a building, anywhere where this thing will write, you should be good to go. Now these next two items kind of coincide with each other. This is a huge Sharpie marker. We all know the merits of Sharpie markers, but I like the fact they actually gave us a really big one, which is brand new. And they didn't give us a generic copy. They gave us the true blue Sharpie. But right here, we actually have four or five sheets of waterproof copy paper. And then this is waterproof copy paper. So it can be weather resistant, but you can tape this to a tree, a sign, a building, railroad tracks, wherever you end up journeying and let people know that you've gone somewhere. You can leave them a detailed note of where you're planning to go. Let's say navigation necessarily is a thing. You're just kind of stranded out in the wilderness and you can't get back easily. So you need help or need rescue. This will give you an ability to leave notes of where you're going, where you're headed. And it's just really good to have. So these next couple items are really freaking awesome. These are retro reflective patches. You get five of them in here. And what this allows you to do is you can put this on your clothing, you can put this on your pack, you can put this um, on the, like I said, a perimeter of your site. And while you are out in the woods, retro reflection is not something common in the woods, obviously. This is really dark out there. There's not a lot of stuff glowing in the nighttime. So having these around your campsite or having them somewhere, so if search and rescue is shining flashlights, this will bounce right back on them, very similar to the way I'd, like a stop sign would or anything like that at night. And it'll let them know that something's up. They need to kind of hone in on that area and hopefully they will come and rescue you. The last item in this kit is a really big reflective blanket. You could use this for an emergency shelter. You could use this as a blanket to keep warm, but because of its reflective properties, you could use this as a giant signal mirror to probably crash a plane. <laughs> but this will be really good in conjunction with something like this. If you need something either really bright, reflective, and orange, this will stand out in the natural environment because big, huge, reflective pieces of blaze orange is not a natural occurrence. So having something like that to really grab attention is really important, but it's definitely multi-purpose. For the money, all the options they give you for signaling, I feel this kit is invaluable. For this kit, I wanna say this kit's gonna be like 24 95 25 bucks, something like that. And the fact they're gonna include those reflective tacks, those pack of reflective tacks are gonna make this kit awesome. This will be a big, huge 13 piece kit, which is if you really wanna get nitpicky and divide all the items up, it's much, much, much bigger. But they give you a lot of different options in different environments, whether you're on open water, if you're on a lake, you're floating down a river, you're on land, you're at a campsite, you're in an open field, you're in an urban environment, doesn't matter where you are, you have an ability to signal down and flag down help no matter what for not a lot of money. All in all, we like this kit and we think it's a very good value. We're excited to see something like this come to market from Sanford Outdoor Supply. As a lot of you guys know who follow my channel regularly, they have come out with five different boss kits that have that are freaking awesome from their fire, hunting and fishing, their signaling, their water gathering, everything. They've just come up with a way to have a lot of good supplements or for beginners who don't have a big budget to be able to get a lot of good items that actually work, that are not crap that you would find on Amazon, such as some garbage like this. 
and you can feel confident as long as you have some form of an ability to take a course or practice this kind of stuff you'll be ready to go no matter what but if you're excited about the new signal boss kit and you appreciate the test footage we did for this kit today definitely throw this video a big thumbs up and share this out with your friends and family in your social media networks so we can keep growing thriving and making awesome videos for you guys but that just about does it for now hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day i'm out <laughs>